Hi, this is Maya with Rico. Today we are talking about views. Views in Relativity control your document list for many, many different items in the database. Most popular, most common ones you'll interact with are in the Documents view, which is what you're going to be dropped into when you first log into a database. It's going to be your default view. You're also going to see views, for instance, in your batches. This is our list of different views that we have to access different subsets of the batches. You'll also see a view in the Related Items pane. This one is the Family Related Items, and this list here is a view, so you can actually add and remove fields to this view as well. So the views themselves control which documents you see, which fields of information is, are available, and the sort order of the documents. You can also have public and private views, and you can edit and create views yourself. In order to edit a view, use the little pencil icon, and to make a new view, you select the new view icon. One thing to note, if you don't have access to these, they've been secured from you, and it's possible that your case manager will give you access. So when you are using views, you need to make sure that the one you're about to change is either public or private. When a view is public, it actually is available for all users. Every user is logged into the documents view right when you first get into the database. And the reason that it's the first view is because the order is designated lower than all the rest of the views. So if we're going to make any changes to this view, it's going to be made for everyone. So if a reviewer needs a new field, um, we wanted to see the uh, STR field PII, we can double click on it from the left hand pane, bring it over to the right hand pane. Um, this left hand pane is the available items and the right hand pane is the selected items. So once you get your field over into the selected items window, you can click and drag to configure it. And then when we hit save, that changes the view as it refreshes and there's our new field available for us to use. And it's available for everyone to use. So also within this little uh, view wizard, um, we can configure some other things. We can also adjust the conditions. So this is where you add filters or um, even saved searches to your view. So you're, you're controlling the scope of your view with this. So if I just wanted to see all of the responsive documents, I can select the responsiveness field, click responsive, select apply. You can see a new condition is here. The only documents that are going to be visible to me are going to be the ones marked responsive. I'm not going to say that for this database, but that's how you add a condition. For the sort, this controls the order of the records in your list. So as you can see, we've got the control number, but you could sort by, um, you know, date sent, date modified, um, custodian, whatever field suits your needs. So I'm going to hit cancel and not adjust this anymore. And I'm going to show you my personal view. So I decided that instead of working in saved searches, I just wanted to have a view that allows me to look at all of the documents tagged needs further review for all my reviewers who are um, that want me to take a look at these documents. So what I did is I selected the new view icon and then I configured all of the fields here, all of the required fields. And then I added my fields that I wanted to see, the metadata that will be displayed. And then I added my condition. I wanted to see anything that's marked responsive needs further review. And I liked the control number sort order. So once I saved that, you can see that of the rather large database we've had, um, 
my total items down is now down to 20. And this view is actually going to update and refresh when I refresh it. And so if I change the designation of these needs further review documents to another responsiveness tag, they're all going to fall out of my view. And I can take a look and use this view until it's empty and then move on with my workday. So some other really common views that you'll use are your batch document views. Um, this, these return the documents that you've um, that are checked out in your batch. And the views return either your entire batch, your entire my checked out batch, or the documents that have not yet been reviewed. Another example is uh, production documents. This is a great one to get some pretty basic production reporting. How many documents have we produced? 5,000. How many documents did we produce for Vince Kaminsky? I've got about 1,000 here. So you can see that in conjunction with fields, um, which I can show you here. So there's all our confidential produced documents. And with folders, views will work with all those to control your batch, give you some reporting, help you narrow down a subset of records, and find what you need. So that's the skinny on views. Good luck with uh, your review and thanks for joining me today.